jump over here and uh, then we will know. Just gonna double check the audio. Hello. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hello. Okay, uh, yeah, the okay. audio sounds okay, hello, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream, my name is Macy Plays, uh, this is the uh, second time we're uh, seeing my kitchen here, uh, this is the um, all new uh, streaming setup for this, uh, so hello and welcome. <laughs> all right so welcome to the stream today we're cooking some uh some soup soup again yes it's the second time we're cooking soup that's okay we've only done it twice now <laughs> so we're cooking soup today um we're cooking some pork and leek soup which is going to be pretty dang delicious so i have prepared a bunch of ingredients and I will just need a moment to get a couple more. Um, so just give me two moments while I go to the fridge and grab some more. Uh, I'm just grabbing the leeks, mushrooms, and onions essentially. There we go. Got all of the vegetables. So we got awesome, just like uh, standard, uh, or these petite gourmet mushrooms. Yep, that's just basic mushrooms. We got big leeks and we got some uh, green onions. So let's get everything started. We also had the pork just over here. I had it just starting to thaw. I should have actually thawed it earlier, but oh well, right? You can only have uh, so much hindsight. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna start off with uh, filling our pot up with water. Um, we're gonna fill it up as much as we want, so couple liters let's just uh, start pouring it in it's just gonna take a moment now uh, this soup is a little bit more complicated than the last soup that we made uh, in the in the in the way that we're cooking um, meat to go into the soup we haven't actually done that before uh, last time it was literally just throwing the uh, wontons in the soup and letting them cook in the soup and while that's a good, easy way to make soup, and it's very fast and very cheap uh, to get wontons and have those ready. Uh, so we got the pot about two thirds full. Two thirds to uh, about three quarters full is uh, about what I want. Um, so we're gonna get that started. We're just gonna start heating it. I don't think I'm going to need the lid, but we will need the spoon. And uh, we're just going to toss our um, stock, uh, our chicken stock in. These are OXO bullion uh, little packets. Uh, that was the wrong thing, there we go. These things are cheap, they're easy. Every soup can start with them. Essentially turns your water into soup stock. And they hold a lot of flavor. Now these are unsalted, so we will be adding a bit of salt just to um, get the soup tasting uh, good. Just to add a little bit of extra flavor. So we're just gonna dump two of those in for the amount that we're doing. Two should be good. Two's probably, oh geez. Two is probably actually a little bit more than you need. You probably only need one. I don't actually know. I'm not a real chef, so don't worry about that. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna add a bit of salt. Just gonna measure it on our hand, just as you know. Salt to liking. Make sure you've washed your hands before you uh, handle food with your hands. All right, so that's in there it's starting we're just gonna mix it in a little bit there we go all right now we're just going to start mixing things in getting things nice and uh mixed in so 
let's uh, get our onions chopped up. Let's grab ourselves a knife. Uh, let's grab this guy. Just a normal knife. And we'll bring you down. Hey, Makoa, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to bring you down here. I can't really see chat too well while it's down there. So sorry if I miss anything. I do have chat up on another uh, monitor. I'm actually going to quickly make that bigger so I can see. All right, so we're just going to move that. All right, we're just going to line these up and then chop off the tips. We're not gonna use the tips, and I'm just gonna bring my garbage can around. There we go. Okay, so, no tips. Let us start chopping. You can chop these as fine as you like. You don't have to go like crazy fine. You don't have to go crazy big. Uh, so, you know. And that's probably good enough. We're actually going to do a couple more. You know what? Let's just do it all. Why not? There is no exactness to this recipe, so don't feel like uh, if you don't follow this to the T, you won't get a good result. You'll notice that I never really care much for measurements. Oh, geez, I just spilt onions everywhere oops <laughs> so those are the onions in we are now going to go with our leeks now i've never actually cooked with leeks before um so i actually don't know what this is going to be like there we go chop off the thing that was around them and um <laughs> We're not doing celery or carrots just because we don't have any today. Uh, they were a little ex more expensive than usual at the store, so I just didn't bother. So I've never actually cooked leeks on my own. I'm just going to chop the tips off because I don't know if you can actually, like how much of this you can actually eat because never cooked. Work well when cooked slower. Oh yeah, I've had leeks and salmon, that's pretty good. All right, so we have leeks. We're gonna cut these kind of big, but not too big. Uh, I think that's about good, right? How does that look? We're just going to pull these apart a little bit. You always got to try new things, so, you know. We're actually going to save the rest of this, I think. I don't know if you can eat this. So, yeah, this is what I've always seen eaten. We're just going to throw a couple of these away. There we go. So, yeah. All right, just tossing those right in. Toss that last one in. There we go. All right. So, now we're just going to go on to our mushrooms. We're not going to blend it. All right, so these mushrooms haven't been cleaned, so we're just going to quickly jump over to the uh, sink to do it. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the uh, camera. There we go. So I'm just going to bring these over to the sink and wash these real quick. I didn't bother opening the package yet, so we just opened it now. Uh, you know what? I should probably grab a bowl. Like a nice big bowl. And wash these in the bowl.
Sorry, I can't really see chat right this second. Mix these around, get all the dirt off. Oops. There we go. Make sure my uh, thing doesn't turn on. There we go. Okay. So we got mushrooms now. <laughs> Aqua did luck out, apparently. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no way to get to Canada right now from the States, so... I mean, there is, it's just Canada would rather not have people from the States coming in. It's probably a good idea to actually uh, add some heat to this as well, so we'll probably add some hot sauce. Eventually, we're just gonna... Oh, you can't really see what's going on. How is that? There we go. So we're just gonna chop these... Uh, Kind of roughly. Don't have to be exact. I don't know how to really cook these. Or not cook these, but dice them. I mean, I could do them like big mushrooms, but I think I want them a little bit finer, so. We're not gonna cook all of them either. Hello, Canela. How's it going? Did not notice that was you in the chat there. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I mean, travel restrictions right now. There's uh, nothing we can do. Just gonna roughly chop these. Um, I think this might be enough. This seems like it's a uh, decent amount of mushrooms. We have a lot left over, so that's okay. I don't know if you can see this. I don't think you can, but just tossing it in the pot. Tossing everything in the pot. All right, so we got leeks and mushrooms, just gonna put those off to the side. All right, that's pretty much the main part of the uh, soup stock, so we're just going to mix this around a little bit and then uh, let it cook. We're also going to just add a bit of hot sauce, I think. Oh, it's starting to smell really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some hot sauce. Uh, today I'm feeling sriracha. Yeah, let's go with sriracha today. So, just a big squirt. <laughs> One big squirt. We don't want it to be as spicy as last time because last time the soup was oh, so spicy. Oh yeah. It's already smelling good. Leeks always smell so good. Um, one of my favorite soups to actually eat is leek and potato soup, and I gotta learn how to make that. So uh, that will be a soup that will come up eventually. <laughs> okay. All right, just gonna... 
take a drink. We're drinking uh, whiskey today. Just um, fireball, so. Mushrooms will disintegrate and not leave much flavor. Uh, it depends on how you cook it. On how long you cook it and whether or not you blend it or, or whatnot. I find the mushrooms tend to stick together and actually they get pretty firm. Amateur. <laughs> it's all I have right now, honestly. I mean, I have vodka, but vodka's not great on its own. Okay, so that was the kind of beginning of the dish. Um, I'm actually thinking we want more leeks. Um, but we have another thing to cook. <laughs> A Canadian that likes sriracha. Yeah. Okay. So, that's going to slowly cook. Um, next thing, we're actually going to turn on the fan. Fan should be a little bit quieter because I have the lav working today, hopefully. At least I hope it is. Fingers crossed. Um, but now we need to cook our meat. Now... Funny thing about the meat, I didn't let it thaw, um, so it's still frozen, but that's okay. Um, I kind of wanted uh, it to be frozen. So um, one of the things is that it's hard to uh, cook, uh, or it's hard to get the meat to um, cut properly the way when it's not, uh, when it's thawed. It doesn't cook, cut properly. Um, in in certain circumstances like this where we wanted to have a um i wanted a um shoulder cut but pork shoulder was excessively expensive so instead we got uh pork loin so these are still frozen just a little bit frozen hopefully we can peel that off yep there we go so i've never really tried to cut pork thin um and we're gonna need a different knife so let me just pull up my different knife my really nice big knife um so i just want to make sure that we can cut this yes okay so there's two options here um we can cut it we can like dice it into small pieces of meat um or we can try and cut it thin which is what I originally wanted. So we're gonna try that. Okay, yeah, we can kind of do that. It's going to get very hard once it gets very thin. But having it frozen allows you to do this a little bit easier. Okay, we're gonna put the thick cuts up at the top there. So we're just gonna cut it nice and thin. There we go. This is actually working a little bit better than I expected. Hey Dom, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> That's the second knife joke so far. Okay. Ah. Okay, I gotta be a bit more gentle. You gotta be very careful because this is a very sharp knife. Come on. Gotta be very careful. Don't want to cut my finger. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's thin enough. <laughs> yes, you are allowed to be stressed out a bit. Hello, Silverstorm. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? I'm gonna cut these. There we go.
Now the unfortunate part is uh, this is pork loin, so it doesn't cook the same as pork shoulder. I've never really cooked pork loin myself, so we will see if it uh, turns out the way we want it. Ah, we're still cutting a little bit thicker than I'd like. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to fry it in chili, but we're going to fry it in something else. I have a special little thing that I'm making. Oh, this is so hard to cut. This part is a little bit thick. We'll see. <laughs> Let's just put this piece back up there. The middle pieces seem to be the, uh, Best. Just making sure I'm not cutting my fingers, geez. Don't worry guys, I'm totally not a professional chef, uh, so you should definitely be worried. <laughs> uh, that's another thick piece that I'm not able to cut properly. Bring this back into here. <laughs> okay, well I'll try not to cut my finger then. Uh, this is just thin enough that I'm, or thick enough that I might be able to get one more. Nope, <laughs> not really. Okay, that's okay. So we got a decent amount. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick, uh, and then we will start putting stuff in the pan. just bring this up a little bit so you can see the pan there we go um, so what's going in the pan we're gonna do grapeseed oil because it's pretty much the only thing I have it's the only oil I have right now so you know an okay amount of that and just start it on a medium-high heat we are going to pepper the pan because we can we're also going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there we go that's pretty much all we need hot peppers chili peppers so yeah we are doing a little bit of chili um now there's two other ingredients that we're going to put in once this kind of like heats up a bit and really gets uh, nice and ready to uh, uh, cook. <laughs> this stream is sponsored by Teeth. Oh, yeah. No, not fresh garlic, not today. We're not doing a garlicky uh, soup 
it's more like an oniony soup. So just a bit of garlic powder just to just to flavor the beef or the pork. You need like ten cloves maximum. Or minimum. <laughs> wow. Alright, we're gonna need Ah, I forgot to get tongs so that we can uh, mix everything around make sure it's cooking properly I'm just gonna mix that around a little bit it smells amazing I think we will need more uh, leeks in a little bit I'll need to get another cutting board to chop that up but that's okay Okay, the oil is pretty warm now, so we're just going to grab a spoon, just a little uh, spoon, and we're going to add some jelly to it. You can add whatever jelly you like. This is uh, homemade red pepper jelly. So we're just going to add a tablespoon. That's pretty much it and then some balsamic vinegar. An equal amount. All right, now let's uh, start adding our uh, meat. <laughs> Hello, Aqua, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hello here, Steve. How's it going? Howdy tarnished. Welcome. Let's start with that and we'll uh, just let this cook a little bit. Just start it off, so. Welcome, welcome. Let me just wash my hands real quick and then I'll uh, greet you properly. So remember to wash your hands whenever you handle meats. Oh my god, thank you for the bits tarnished. Thank you, thank you. I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss anything as well. Oh my god. Sorry, I, I, I can't really catch up too easily on chat. <laughs> oh my god, it's going so fast. Okay. Chat, sorry, I can't read you. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, cooking. Let's uh, start flipping. Ooh, yeah, that's looking good. We're going to increase the heat a little bit as well. Oh, it smells so good. Hello, Health Angel. Welcome to... Welcome to the stream. Render down the fat and add to the soup. You give me too much credit. I'm not <laughs> I'm not an actual cook. I do not know how to do that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a little dish just to put this in while we cook some more. make sure everything's cooking properly. Now I was thinking about adding leeks to this mixture, but I'm not sure right now anymore. Oh my God. 
There's a hype train. Oh my god. Thank you for all the gift subs. Oh my god. You people are insane. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I can't keep up with you. <laughs> Let me just uh, bring this up here. Thank you guys so much. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are awesome and amazing. All right, this stuff is pretty much good to go. Before we can really go ahead and throw it in the soup and everything, we're gonna make all of it and then put it in all together. I just wanna make sure that it tastes good enough to put in. So let me just grab a little fork. Oh my God, you guys. You guys are insane. All right, we're gonna turn down the heat while we transfer these over to this little bowl. Okay, we gotta immediately throw some meat in here. We don't want it to burn. We don't want that mixture to uh, go uh, and burn itself on us, so. Yeah, that meat's pretty much perfectly cooked, I think. It's a little sweet and sour due to the balsamic vinegar. But uh, that's okay. Because this second uh, batch isn't going to be covered as much because it's just going to soak up the rest. We're going to turn up the heat again. Let that cook. Put this piece in because it could go. These pieces are a little too thick. Okay. Oh my god, so many subs. How's it going? Welcome. Level 5 hype train at 300%? Oh my god, you guys are insane. What are you doing? Oh my god. Why? Even more subs. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if the stream's going to be able to handle it. Oh my god. All right, start flipping the uh, pork over. Welcome, welcome anybody who is uh, new to the stream. Um, so it looks like we're gonna be doing a lot more cooking streams from now on. Everybody seems to really enjoy these. <laughs> I do as well, so no problems there. It is actually getting really hot in here. I'm just gonna turn the fan up a little bit more. Chris, thank you for the uh, sub. Oh my God, thank you very much. I'm glad I caught that one. <laughs> Cooking takes a little bit, a uh, little bit harder to actually uh, focus on. Did we get rated? I mean, I know Aqua rated us, right? Oh my god, it's freaking hot. Oh. You guys have me sweating. Whew. Oh yeah, this pork looks good now. Alright, we're going to turn the heat off. We're going to transfer these over to this bowl. You guys are literally insane. It's not stopping. There is no end. No end in sight.
You guys are crazy. <laughs> All right, so that's the meat cooked. Whew. I'm just gonna throw this straight into the sink. We're gonna try just a little bit of that uh, pork. Drop the camera down a few degrees. Like that? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know where I'm. Oh man. You guys are insane. Thank you for uh, the follow, Ed, Ham, Ed Hams. Thank you very much. Uh, there, there's no way I can keep up with chat, so sorry if I miss anything. Show them a bowl of meat close up. Oh yeah. Here you go. Sorry, you can't even see it. There's too many notifications. Look at that. Nice and perfectly cooked pork. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we're going to just stir the soup a little bit more. And we're gonna test the flavor of the soup. So uh, give me a second. There we go. Grab our trusty another spoon. Oops. Got the mic on the uh, drawer. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, I just put this on, uh... Alright, just give me a second. Just gonna clear up some space. Putting some dishes into the uh, sink, out of the way. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh man this is this is really good i guess this gotta go in this in the uh i'll do that after <laughs> sorry you're looking right at my mouth all right so we're we're pretty close to being done um we're about halfway through give me a second okay um so when was that notification give me a second oh it was a couple minutes ago okay perfect um so i'm supposed to be getting a delivery from amazon like right now <laughs> uh oh actually that's not that not a bad uh thing we can also uh maybe do an unboxing while we're cooking <laughs> Guy, no, 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 Guy Fieri, uh, no, Guy Fieri, uh, look, please, no, spare me, we're just, uh, gonna let that cook a little bit more, um, it was missing a bit of salt, so let's add a little bit more. Just, uh, you know. Use your hand as a measuring thing. Give me a second. Whew. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. Ugh. Oh my God. That's a, that's heavier package than I thought it would be. <laughs> By me shaving my head, it makes it easier. Oh, boy. No, I do not have a P.O. box right now, or equivalent. Aqua? 
Why do you why do you gotta spoil things? We were supposed to experience it together. As chat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, so as Aqua has uh, clearly pointed out, uh, we got a awesome package. It is, let me just pull this down here. Oh, hey, hey, guess what? Unboxing uh, stream. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's, uh, Hey guys, welcome to my unboxing stream where we just got this awesome package. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even see chat right now. <laughs> uh, no, the one you, the package you sent, it says like uh, the 13th it's supposed to come, so. Okay, so we're just going to uh, switch gears over to uh, unboxing. So let's uh, get into this. This is, this is funny. It's a box inside of a box. Oh my God. Oh, that wasn't smart. <laughs> so that over that way. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Oh geez, this is a heavy box. All right, so yes, I got a inflatable pool. Now, don't expect any streams from the pool. <laughs> because, well, oh geez, I have a full garbage can right next to me that I'm trying to put more stuff in because so don't expect a stream from this because I'm technically not even supposed to have one of these in this condo Ugh. oh geez this feels squishier than I thought I didn't look at it oh my god So this isn't a pool. I was wondering why it was so frickin' heavy. Oh my God, Aqua, it's your present. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Oh, wow. It actually was Aqua's Think that she sent. Oh my god, why is this thing so freaking heavy? <laughs> oh my god. So, if you didn't know, this is. Oh. This is a uh, weighted blanket. Oh, this is heavy. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> It's 25 pounds. Thank you. <laughs> I, I knew it was a blanket when you told me you were sending me something. Oh my God. Ah, I am sweating. Like this is insane. Okay. So wasn't what I was expecting to come. And now everybody knows it's that I'm expecting a, uh, Oh my God, that thing's heavy. Now everybody knows that I'm expecting a pool <laughs> as well. Hopefully my neighbors didn't hear that because they would not be happy about me having a pool on my balcony. Oh jeez. Huh. So welcome back, we're at the cooking stream. Oh, I need a towel to just like Wipe off all the sweat, oh my god. <laughs> that might be heavier than I was expecting. Um.
Yeah, I mean, it, was, it said it was supposed to come, like, on the 13th, and it had, like, a specific date, so, yeah. Don't forget to hydrate, yes. We got some nice uh, fireball to hydrate with. Uh, I really wasn't expecting that today. <laughs> thank you, very, thank you so much, Aqua. Thank you. <laughs> yes, there are better things, but I don't have that much alcohol in my condo. I don't drink that much. All right, I think it's about time we add the meat to the soup, so I'm just gonna bring you guys as close as possible. Okay, there we go. Um, sorry, I just got a call from my mom, but I'm in the middle of this, so she will have to wait. So we're just going to pour the uh, meat into the soup, along with all the juices. There we go. So we're just going to mix that up. Like, oh my god, today has been one crazy day. <laughs> I'm still expecting like two other packages today, so it is a little, uh, that's why I thought it would be something else. Oh man, I wish I could bring you guys in a little bit closer, but that's as far as the arm reaches. So we're just going to stir this around a little bit. We're going to give it a little bit just to cook a little bit more and then uh, it'll be ready to serve. <laughs> I will call her back right after the stream. Don't you worry. <laughs> one day, Blue, one day. <laughs> one day I'll make food for all of, uh, all of like a streaming convention. <laughs> Who knows? Oh man. Today has been one crazy crazy experience there we go let's bring that just so that you can see what i'm doing all right we're gonna give this a little taste test grab a smaller bowl turn off the heat and let's just grab one scoop of this Let's go with that. Did you volunteer to help? I could definitely use an assistant sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I get lost in what I'm doing, so. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it is good. Get some of that leak in there. Mmm. Yeah, that's that's really good. The pork's just that nice, thin thickness. Like, it's not too thick. Like, it's not too big of, like, size. But it's not, like, cubes, so you don't get, like, a big chunk in your mouth all at once. So it's really good. Yes, Dom, I am, uh... I'm in Toronto, so, you know. Not quite that far. <laughs> Canada doesn't just uh, consist of Vancouver, you know. Oh, I think this is really good. Yeah, 
This is awesome. I want more. Oh my God, I want more. I should have uh, cut the leaks in half, I think, like the long way so that I didn't uh, get, so that they didn't uh, just stay like a uh, round thing. I should have cut them up a little bit more, but. Mm. It's hot. <laughs> sure, you can see the bowl. It is quite hot, so, oh man, that looks so good. <laughs> so it's a very easy recipe. I mean, it's hard to actually like uh, mess up soup. <laughs> For anybody who has messed up soup, I didn't mean that as an insult. <laughs> um, oh my God, I am still hot. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Mm. Hot. Thank you everybody who has come to the stream today um wow i just can't believe how many gift subs we have we still have 16 people watching the stream oh my god i feel bad for ending so soon honestly um <laughs> i'm just gonna turn the uh fan hood off oh my god maybe i should just uh continue eating in front of all you guys making you all jealous <laughs> yeah, uh, Niagara Falls is definitely the uh, landmark. So I'm just going to scroll through chat just a little bit. Welcome to Mason Soup, yes. Welcome, welcome. Oh, man. It is extremely warm in this, uh, in this kitchen. Um, usually I am cold when I stream because uh, most of the rooms in this condo are extremely cold. But the kitchen is extremely warm. Mmm. And this is so good. Oh my god. So, cool thing. Um, I plan on uploading this uh, VOD up to my website uh, pretty much immediately tonight. Uh, so by tomorrow it will be viewable on my website. So if you want to follow along and cook this fantastic soup... Um, you will be able to watch the VOD and catch up and see uh, how to make it. So, if you are at all interested, um, <laughs> 350 days a year. <laughs> well, then I would be getting a pool for no reason <laughs> if it was covered in snow. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. It is really hot here right now, so it's, uh, yeah, I think it is something like 32 degrees here, so it, it's pretty crazy. And uh, I can just imagine with that blanket on, oh my god, that's going to be so warm. <laughs> Luckily, I have a cold bedroom, so... It's going to be nice and perfect for tonight. Thank you again, Aqua, for that wonderful present that I wasn't even expecting today. <laughs> I am going to sleep like a baby with that blanket. Oh my God, that thing was 
heavy. Okay. Man, <clears throat> you guys are super awesome for uh, staying here and uh, chatting me up while I cook. It's, uh, I really like doing the cooking streams. So you guys can probably look forward to seeing a couple more coming up. Um, probably within the next month or two. One for winter, one for summer. Mm, interesting. I'll have to read the uh, care and instructions uh, sheet that came with it. <laughs> Foods, dreams. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to have to go back and watch the VOD myself to see, see what happened during the stream because there were times where I couldn't keep track of what was going on. Sorry if you guys can hear me chewing. It's just the, the nature of the stream. <laughs> Only in the USA. <laughs> Instructions for a blanket. So very true. Not meant for children under three. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are you guys have been so awesome today. Oh my god. I am so happy to be able to uh, stream and just be with you guys. It is really, really a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, children would get crushed by a 25-pound blanket. <laughs> for, for any of you who don't understand why Aqua gifted me a 25-pound blanket, um, I we, we had a conversation, I don't know, like two weeks ago? So it happened pretty fast that I got this thing. Um, that... I uh, had heard of people who have these heavy, like weighted blankets uh, because they prefer to have something like heavy on top of them. And I tend to be like that. I'll sleep with like three blankets on top, even though one should probably be good enough. So it's uh, for people that use normal units. <laughs> yes. Yes. 11.3398 kilograms. Uh, that's actually a funny thing. Anyways, I'll... I'll cover that in a second but uh but yeah like uh I, I just I I wear I have too many blankets and it's too hot at night so having one heavy blanket is probably going to be a little bit nicer instead of having three really warm but uh not so heavy blankets um <laughs> anyways on the topic of measurements silver storm uh Canada is a very weird country um so people think of us as we are metric, which on paper, we are metric. But um, when it comes to certain things, we'll switch between the two. So in terms of temperature, um, interior temperature is measured in Fahrenheit. So indoors, uh, we like it at about 68 degrees indoors or, you know, 72 Anywhere from 68 to 72 is nice. Um, so we do uh, Fahrenheit for that. But when it comes to outdoors, uh, we like to do uh, Celsius or centigrade. So like 32 is very hot here, but like 15 would be like just beginning of shorts and t-shirt weather. <laughs> um, and the, the honest truth, I don't know the conversion between the two. <laughs> So it gets even worse because I don't know that conversion off my heart. So I just always done in, in indoors as Fahrenheit and outdoors as Celsius and never been able to tell you which one's which, <laughs> like which one can like how to convert that. <laughs> um, in your opinion, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, uh, Morikai for the host. Uh, so, um, as well, um, a lot of countries, um, 
think of us as metric when it comes to building stuff. So, uh, you know, centimeters, millimeters, inches, uh, sorry, millimeters, centimeters, um, meters, and uh, kilometers. So we measure distance in kilometers. So, you know, driving a car, distance and speed in kilometers per hour. Um, but when it comes to building stuff like a uh, house, you use a two by four. So you're going to be using the, uh, um, is it the imperial system? I think it's called imperial, um, where you're using inches, uh, quarter inches, um, feet and stuff like that. So 37 degrees Celsius is 100 Fahrenheit. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> why? Well, the reason why is we have neighbors called Americans and uh, we have to make sure that we can work. We, we have a lot of people who work in America and who Americans who work in Canada. So it's a little bit of having to have two systems kind of just to satiate that difference. It's... Um, a lot of uh, the time you'll have American architects working in Canada to build buildings, stuff like that. Um, also Canada and US have like huge trade relations. So two by fours are made in Canada or the US and you just, both countries are buying them from each other. Um, so you get a lot of stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's just convenience, um, which is also very inconvenient. Canada tends to be uh, kind of a mix of, um, of measurements. And I'm pretty sure the main reason why we do interior temperature as, um, as Fahrenheit is basically just because our air conditioning like units, or not the units themselves, but like the uh, thermostats are mainly American thermostats. Oh my god, this soup is so good. Yes, 100 kilometers an hour is 62 miles per hour. That's generally one that is easy to do because uh, usually you say zero to 60 for cars. Um, it's zero to 100 in Canada. And uh, so, yeah. Oh my god, we have so many people just... Uh, in the stream right now. I've never had a stream this uh, big, so thank you all for uh, joining me here today. Oh my god. Oh. That was a fantastic soup, and I'm gonna have to eat more. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat more later tonight. Clean up stream. <laughs> I wish I, I I probably should uh, finish off, and I probably should call my mom back, considering uh, I just straight up hung up on her. <laughs> so um, I do have quite a bit to clean up. I also have all the boxes from uh, Aqua's package to clean up, and uh, so yeah. Thank you all for joining me here today. It's it's been a lot of fun. No, she's fine. She she's uh, she's not gonna be that mad. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm only gonna get three three lashes for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the. Uh, all the subs and all the um, gift subs and just all the follows and everything. Oh my God, I was not expecting this kind of turnout tonight. I was kind of just, oh wow. <laughs> I was just, uh, you know, just a normal stream. I guess I probably should do these a lot more often. They tend to be my uh, bigger streams, so. I'm gonna have to come up with a lot more recipes to uh, to share and to to work on. Mm. 
Man, that was, I have to say, that was better than the last soup we made. Uh, if you don't know, last time we made a, um, what's it called? What was it? Uh, wonton soup. And it was a uh, pork and, uh, pork and vegetable wontons. And we made it with chicken broth, um, onions, uh, garlic. Or not onions, we use shallots, not onions. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Unfortunately, uh, I did not save the VOD. Uh, so I might eventually one day uh, go back and revisit that. I'm actually going to pour myself some more soup because why not? I don't think uh, we're ending anytime soon. <laughs> I got too much soup to eat. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to eventually go back and revisit that just because I didn't save the VOD. But we will uh, eventually have uh, the VODs up on my website. Uh, that's MacyPlays.com, uh, where you can actually go and watch the stream. Uh, when me and Aqua do our uh, uh, multi-streams, you can watch them there as well. Uh, we used to do a movie night there. Unfortunately, the service we were using no longer seems to be working well. So we don't do that. Uh, what else is on my website? Let me just pull over my website. Oh yeah, I have a couple of my uh, game dev projects that I've worked on over the years. Um, <clears throat> I will eventually get back into game dev. But uh, for now, I mean, we're just happy playing games and, uh, and cooking food. <laughs> <laughs> five liters of soup. Yes, I will definitely eat five liters of soup. Um, so long, so long as everybody watches. Hmm. <laughs> it is just so good. Um, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, that will be the best place to find out when I stream. I usually uh, post in the morning when I'm streaming. Uh, I usually stream Tuesdays, Fridays, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm actually not sure about that, uh, Chris. I think they, I, I don't 100% know, but I think they might have um, rolled that out to Canada. I haven't actually looked into it. But um, if you want, um, I am going to be putting up a Discord server eventually. Uh, we're still working out uh, how that's going to work. Um, so th it's not publicly available right now. Um, we're going to be testing uh, videos uh, so that we can do a movie night, uh, hopefully. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, but yeah. Those are pretty much all the places you can find me is Twitter, my website, and eventually you will be on my Discord. And uh, yeah, that's those are the main ways to get in contact with me. So if you have any questions or suggestions for me to cook, uh, send them to my Twitter. Uh, just at me, it's at Macy Plays. Uh, so yeah. That's definitely the place to uh, recommend dishes and uh, find out when we're streaming and uh, what we're going to be cooking. Also, uh, every so often I do post some photography stuff as well. Oh yeah, you can't post my website link. Here, I'll just do it right now. There you go. So that's the uh, link to the website. Thank you, Aqua, for... Uh, bringing up all the links and stuff. I should probably add a uh, website to the uh, commands, but soon, eventually. 
slowly figuring things out. <laughs> Yes, the website with the stuff and things. Mmm. This soup is so good. So, so very good. If you guys don't cook already, I highly recommend just taking a bunch of things and throwing it in a pot, throwing it in a pot with some water and these like uh, OXO bouillon things, these uh, little things. Um, just throw like two of those in a pot with like a bunch of ingredients and you'll get something, you know, pretty decent. <laughs> no, you're not that bad, Aqua. You can cook. The nice thing is if you're cooking for yourself, you don't have to chop up food all nicely. You can just be as rough as you want with it. <laughs> so that is a very nice thing. Oh, quick cooking stream. <laughs> I'd watch it. <laughs> okay that was uh that was a really good soup <laughs> um i don't know what else what else should we talk about while we uh while we finish up Anybody have any suggestions for the next stream? <laughs> Actually, maybe we should do dessert. Who wants to uh, have some dessert? Nothing, uh, nothing too uh, special, nothing uh, home cooked. <laughs> ah yes my honey pork <laughs> well actually what we did with the uh, pork today uh, is very similar to what I, I normally do with the uh, honey pork <laughs> yeah definitely Chris we'll uh, definitely play Borderlands sometime soon or maybe even Destiny <clears throat> so let's just Grab some uh, ice cream. And to go with the ice cream, we have caramel sauce. Yeah. <laughs> dessert, dessert. Okay, let's uh, bring you right down here for the uh, for the scoop so uh, get a nice big scoop of ice cream this is mint chocolate chip ice cream get a good amount there there we go right there I'm gonna have to put this back in the uh, freezer I got some ice cream all over my hands jeez we're just gonna you know give you guys a really nice uh, look as we uh, Oh, yeah. All of the caramel. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Mmm. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, catching back up on uh, the chat. It's hard to watch mint, uh, caramel and mint chocolate. How? It's so good. It's, I swear to God, it is good. <laughs> All right. We're just going to... Uh, Mmm. So good. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 I have very interesting uh, tastes, okay? <laughs> Oh geez, the lights are flickering. I got like a little string dripping. There we go. Mm. <laughs> what well, makes caramel better than chocolate in my opinion? Um the fact that I've had way too much chocolate in my life, that's uh, probably what it is. Um, if you didn't know, I used to get, uh, every time for my birthday since I was like a little kid, I'd get mint chocolate chip, or sorry, not mint chocolate chip, I'd get um, triple chocolate fudge cakes from a uh, company here called M&M's, and they were just like the most chocolatey thing you could ever imagine. So, yes, I've had way too much chocolate in my life. I don't mind chocolate still. It's just I can't have a lot at once. So I prefer caramel sauce because it has a different flavor. I and mean, I still like chocolate. <laughs> I still like it. It's not like it's gone away. <laughs> <laughs> there can be too much. <laughs> and chocolate in the same sentence. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm laughing too much. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking it's probably about time I should probably end this. We've been live for over an hour, so it's probably about right time, so. Thank you all for uh, coming by. Uh, thank you all for all your subs and uh, follows and <coughs> all your gift subs. It has been a wonderful, wonderful night. Uh, it's been so enjoyable cooking. And uh, you can definitely look forward to more of these um, cooking streams coming up uh, very soon, I think. Um, because, oh man, I, I just want to do more. Um, probably 
going forward, they're probably going to be a little more complicated, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Don't worry. Um, and we'll always have this uh, chat session where we eat afterwards because this is actually <clears throat> nice time to catch up with chat. So uh, thank you all for stopping by. If you're not already following on Twitter, follow on Twitter because that's where you find out first when I stream. But my general streaming times are um, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's, uh, I don't know what it is in Pacific Standard Time, but I know what it is in Greenwich Mean Time. That's 7 p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time. So uh, you can work it out from there because you can do the plus or minus from GMT. So uh, if you're uh, looking forward to that, uh, please give me a follow. You'll be notified right away. Uh, thank you for joining me here tonight. It's been a lot of fun. And um, 12 p.m. PSD. Interesting. So yeah, noon PSD. <clears throat> Raid? Uh, who's live right now? Let me uh, pull up my tablet right now and uh, find out who's uh, live. Um, let's see if anyone is live. I don't, I don't know if anyone I know is live. <clears throat> mm. Oh, geez, that's loud. All right, let's see. Yeah, no one's really live that I know. Let's, uh, let's go to browse. Let's, uh, since we've done uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom recently, let's go raid someone playing uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's, uh, see who's up. Let's see. Uh, I don't know any of these people, so we're just gonna raid some random person. Uh, let's actually scroll down to the bottom. And, uh, get someone who, uh, doesn't have that many viewers. Uh, let's find someone, right, uh, let's see, this guy, let me just copy the, uh, do do, -do raid. Does that work? Is it going to work? I actually don't know if that worked. Ah, right. Forward slash. That would work. <laughs> there we go. So we're raiding. All right, thank you guys for joining me here today. Um, so we're raiding a guy named Robert, and uh, feel free to say hi. Uh, I've never actually viewed this person, so this will be a new experience for me as well. Let's uh, enjoy it. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>